Hello friends, welcome back to our course Math Essential for Machine Learning and we are going to now do a crash course on derivative. It's very simple and straightforward. Okay, so for example, I have a function like this. Okay, and this is my x and this is my y. Alright, and I want to know the slope of my point here okay say for example this is in location x okay so in order to find the slope what I would need to do is I would need to draw a tangent here correct okay so in order to find this slope or the point of this tangent um, I do a small approximation okay what I do is I take a line a point next very close to it, the point I am looking for okay and this point here is very close to my original point I'm considering and say this is at x plus h okay so if I connect these two lines okay I am hoping that this is a straight line and what happens is if I take h to be as small as possible and in, say towards 0 what would happen is my the black line here and my red line here they kind of will be parallel to each other and will be very close to each other okay if just imagine h to be as small as possible okay so in that case if i move by x uh, you know by h amount then what would be my change in the y direction right so basically I'm looking for what would be my new value at x plus h okay now typically derivative is nothing but what is the amount of change in the x direction so my change in the x direction is x plus h minus x right so basically what is the distance between these two points and if I have moved from x to x plus h then what is the change in my y direction so it is nothing but again x plus h minus f of x okay very simple so I want to know the what is the change in this direction and that way I will get what is the change in the y direction okay so this can be written as f derivative of x equal to f of x plus h minus f of fx divided by x plus h minus x and this can be rearranged as so this x and this x will cancel out right so f of x plus h my new y value is nothing but f of x plus f of f derivative of x times h okay so this will be my new value all right let's um, look into a little further to this okay so uh, one more thing that we should keep in mind is h is very very small and then h square will be say equal to 0 so h can be 0 0.0000 and I keep going with say 100,000 or 1 million zeros and then 1 and if I take a square of that value then it's going to be 0 okay so this is the additional th point that uh, you know we should keep in mind okay so let's look into now few common few common derivatives okay we'll not go too much into the depth of the mathematics how this came into practice but then for us as a machine learning engineer it is sufficient for us to just know that this is true okay so there is common derivative one and assuming that n is not equal to zero then the derivative of the function f of x to the power n is n times x to the power n minus 1 okay so for example if I have a expression say x cube 
then the derivative of this x cube is 3 times x square okay all right number 2 the derivative of the function e to the power x is exactly the same as e to the power x okay and the third one is the common derivative is the if x is greater than 0 okay then the function log of x has a derivative of 1 over x okay so the derivative of log of x is 1 over x okay so these are the three uh, common derivative that we'll be using every now and then so it's good to know what is their outcome all right okay so let's continue with our next video